with an audience of duck and doe. There's little uncommon in the eager scramble for kayaks and gear. And yet, it is what you do not see that catches and holds the eye. Young men missing pieces moving steadily toward the water. Don't really need to leave when you're in a kayak anyways, right? They are soldiers and sailors learning to live with the cost of serving country. Last May, Pearland's Andy Soul left Afghanistan without his legs. We were doing a patrol to search for a known bomb maker and our vehicle uh, ran over a anti-tank mine buried in the road. Hey dude, just don't drop me them rocks. Alex Morales' sacrifice came in a vicious split second aboard ship. Recoiled back and took both my legs instantly. And yet, for these men, how they got here holds far less importance than where they're headed. Well, physical therapy gets old fast. So it's good to, you know, get out outside and do something active, you know, and trying to build up your confidence again. Because, you know, if you've been hurt, you know, you go through that time period where it's just like, you know, you know, for a while I was afraid to do stuff. The theory is pretty simple. If they can learn to handle one of these, they can probably handle many of the challenges they'll face in civilian life. Some are simply not ready. But most embrace this new battle. And that's where Ben Quanley comes in. Expert instruction flows from America's top kayaker. But when it comes to perseverance and courage, teacher admits he's become the pupil. They just came from having, having their leg amputated and they're like saran wrapping it to get in the boat in the first place, you know? Um, it's just a whole different ball game. They push each other as hard as they push themselves. All the guys that have been around for a while, you know, in therapy, you, know, you see the new guys, we try to get them to go out and join us. <laughs> Whether in the water or on the ward, flare-ups of self-pity are rarely appeased. You may have one sitting around pouting about his good leg hurting, and the other one will say, well, you know what, at least you have that leg to hurt. There is another bit of respite in trading prosthesis for paddles, one that offers the comfort of equality if only for a few hours. You know, you're out on the river, you know, no one knows you're an amputee because your legs are in the boot. It's all part of a practical progression. Staying fit and uh, also just getting back out of the community and uh, picking up with your life, you know. And after months of mending, most discover that while they may have lost a piece or two, they've preserved what is most important. I was definitely given a second chance. The best part of themselves. On Medina Lake, Greg Grugan, Fox 26 News.